Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial on Canva. Before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime, anytime I upload a new video. So let's jump straight into Canva. Okay, so I got this, uh, you know, I've received a whole lot of requests to recreate um, this thing. Where is it? And just scroll down. Okay. I created this a while ago and somewhere somehow it blew a lot of minds and a whole lot of people didn't understand how come I could create that with Canva. So in this tutorial I'm just going to create every single thing from scratch. Maybe not every single thing but um, I'll do most of the things here because most of these things I, I you know I just repeated the same um, the same methods or procedures or strategies or something like that i don't know which word to use but you get what i mean yeah so let's just jump st straight okay let me just start okay so first of all before you can get started with a design you need to understand the kind of message you want to put out there and after you're able to get the message you want you know you need to present it in a way that fits the message i don't know if i'm making sense but i'm sure i'm making sense yeah i know i'm making sense so um i wanted to talk about you know having a lot of skills okay even though you need to have one main skill you're good at you know that doesn't stop you from having other skills you can also do so in a way to present it i just use the triple striker okay and i wanted it to have this kind of like military kind of feel okay so i got some images some bullets g pistols and you know some textures that fits the message so this is what i did and i just hope by the end of this tutorial you would understand you know um you get the whole concept plus the whole design process and everything so the first thing i went on was i went to png go okay because it's not just about the design it's about you know um sending a full message with the design with the concept and everything okay and the first thing i had to search for the texture so i searched for texture i was just plain so i just searched for texture on png go okay so it would load up and um you know i love png go that's where i search for most of my images you know that's where i get them from and i even made a tutorial earlier on how i search for my images so you can also check that out to understand how i do everything okay so you know i went through there are so many textures over here but um i went for uh, i'm sure i'd find it somewhere here okay it's okay so this is the texture i used so maybe i'll just download it i'm not so sure you know i'm just doing everything in this tutorial i'm not really ready and uh, i say i'm not ready uh, don't leave this tutorial because i left i i said that so I just downloaded it and it takes a while actually to to download so but I just hope it wouldn't waste time this time around so let me just come here and as usual we always create new dimensions so custom dimensions so um 10 80 and um, by 1350 okay and create design so I wouldn't create all 10 slides okay if you want to see all 10 slides there on my instagram once you check on my instagram you uh, you really like have you get a feeling oh do you really have to take the time okay let me just um show this okay so you can see how it looks here beautiful you know so let me just dive straight into it so the first thing i went was to set my color so i chose a yellow and you know i don't want to do some of the things from scratch i hope you get what i mean like adding these logos and stuff i don't like to now be searching and um, doing them so i'll just copy and paste and i always see designers and programmers are always good at this copy and paste so yeah that's the first thing okay and what i did was i just used this as a background and 
I came here to the transparency and I reduced it. So you realize that reducing the transparency alone gives you the texture. So the more you this it's, it depends on how you want your design, but even something like this is um, fine. Okay, so something like this is fine, but I think I reduced it more to something like this. Yeah, this is fine. And I also went on there to search for bullet holes. So I just came here and searched for bullet holes. Okay, and there are so many, you, you'd get so many bullet holes from there. Okay, so you realize these are some holes you can get and use for your designs. And I think I used this, you know, this one. But there are so many just trying to give you the concept there are so many bullets oh this looks ugly damn why did i even scroll to this point okay so you realize there are so many bullet holes over here and for the sake of this tutorial i'm not going to re-download it i'll just do the normal thing i get to do copy and paste so yeah okay so there's it if you want it you can just search for it you know these images are not mine you can also download them and use them so i'll just come here and i'll search for actually just um okay then i'll just copy and paste and as soon as you paste it on there it looks sweet oh okay so that that's it okay and to give it more randomness i just duplicated them Control c Control v v v <laughs> okay and with it i can make this one smaller okay and maybe okay rotate it I can put this one here and um, rotate this one like this and even some of them you can increase the size you know to show that maybe whoever was shooting wasn't targeting well you know that kind of thing and I added a text so control C I'm not going to now search for the text I was using I'll just send this to back okay so once you add it on the back you know it gets to look like this and you know designing in canva also has to do with arrangements like arranging them in layers because everything is in layers so one layer at the back one in front one in the middle one on the right one on the left uh, uh, uh. <coughs> you know like that kind of thing so yeah and i hope you are getting it i think i can even end this tutorial so okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video okay so if you've left that's up to you i'm still continuing okay so um yeah you know so this was the main thing i did and i also went on png guru again and just search for bullet okay because i want um you know because in the military most things have to do with bullets okay so i also searched for bullets and i got so many bullets you know and the only thing about this is if you really want your design to stand out you'd really have to put in the work you get it put in the work invest into the like your time you have to invest so many like a lot of time so you see this is the bullet i used with the shadow i was really particular about the shadow because i wanted it to look like the bullet is actually like on the floor or something like it's you know it makes it look better so i just downloaded it and i'll just copy and paste ctrl c and you know i didn't want to i could just type str place the bullet there and make another you know text ker but i didn't want to go that far so i just um place the bullet you know and it's already fitting so let me just do the arrangement here oh no okay so i'll just move this my mouse is just misbehaving but just pardon me okay so uh, okay so you realize i just covered the eye with a bullet and that's all triple striker we've done it it's easy as easy as that okay so after i did that the next thing i did was to create a new page but before i do that let me just copy all of this control v and uh, control c v control v oh uh, what did i do so select all of this shift select this control c okay and i i need and control v so that's interesting then um what i did on the next page what did i even do on the next page so the next page was basically like you know and almost every tip you know every trick and tip here i have a tutorial on it so i think with these things you'd have to check how 
to cut you know to make the images like this that when you post on instagram let me open my instagram i was just checking okay so i'm here so, uh oh okay so where is it where is it where is it where is it okay i think in order to get the whole feeling i'll just do this oh sorry i just hope this thing works okay and i'll just refresh my instagram so that you can understand you know i just want you to have the whole feeling of it um it's loading loading okay so okay that is the post So you realize this is uh still loading. Okay, okay. So this is the kind of feel you want. Uh this thing to just load up quickly. Okay, it's loading. So you realize that you know it's some sort of like a smooth transition. The same images which has been sliced into two and placed on two different slides. And when added together, it just gives you some sort of like you know you get it the transition so that's the main idea behind it but you know um i think i just feel like going all over that again in this tutorial so let me just um use this lady even though she's not okay she's not because i don't want to search for image i just want to give you the idea of how i went about this whole design process so yeah then uh, you just you know place it here i you know there's a center okay and normally it will just snap once it gets on the center okay it snaps then what you can do is you duplicate the page click out okay and you just uh drag to it snaps uh, it's not snapped yet okay it's snapped so when you view it this is how it's going to look like okay let me just you see so that's the whole thing and yeah that's the main thing so the idea was just to duplicating this um, process okay and adding photos that matches up with um, the whole thing okay because with design you have to think of photos like everything should be connected and it makes your design really 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 interesting yeah so you know this whole idea too was the bullets the i just added the text and um okay place this bullet in between this had like i just added uh, i just gave the space and place this bullet on there and uh you know i also got some bullet for you know to give steps and procedures or some you know my point you know yeah and also my final slide was you know something like this so you'd realize it's a very easy um how do you call it idea i had and you know it was just getting images that matches up with the whole thing so with this pistol i also search for pistol on um, png go okay because i use the free version of canva you know and i wouldn't hide that to you i use the free version of canva and you know i haven't really bought the pro version but i try as much as possible to be able to get what i want even though i'm using the free <coughs> sorry even though i'm using the free version of canva and ever since i discovered png go it helps me to you know just get things across and i'm able to get a whole lot of things done so yeah that's my that's the whole idea i had behind it okay so the main thing here is you know you just realize i um got the bullet the bullet hole the texture and images that matches with like that gives a warlike kind of feel or an action kind of feel you know and some weapons and uh, that's the main thing so i just hope you understand uh, you understand the whole process and just in case you do not understand or you want a one-on-one -on -one, um you know um coaching like a design coaching canva kind of thing with me you can always hit me up i'm mostly active on my instagram so once you get on there the name is simple it's african geek so once you get on there you can just hit me up i'll be so glad to um 
okay to help you out on your canva designs and yeah the name is benjamin and i will see you before you go hit the subscribe button and you know hit on the bell icon because i'll be coming up with some smooth and fun you know tutorials for you so yeah next fantastic tutorial is up next and i'll see you in my next tutorial